Welcome back to our two-part series on building a blog with Cosmic CMS and Next.js. In the first video, we got our Cosmic account set up and we deployed a Next.js application to Vercel using Cosmic CMS. In today's video, in the second part of this tutorial, we're going to run the application locally, make some changes, and walk through the entire workflow of publishing content on Cosmic. All right, so I cloned the application that we created in the first video locally. I cloned that repository and I ran Yarn to install all of the dependencies I need. And then I finally ran Yarn Dev to run the application locally at localhost 3000. And you'll see I have this up and running here on the left. Now, one thing to note is that the repository has a .env.local file, and this is where you keep your local environment variables. So these same secrets that we put into the Vercel dashboard, we are going to set up in this file locally so that we can connect to Cosmic securely. So with that set up, we're able to run the application locally and see post. So the next thing I want to talk about is the actual static site generation code that fetches this information from Cosmic and displays the posts. So if we scroll down on the index route, we see get static props. Now get static props is introduced in Next.js 9.3 and it allows you to fetch data from any API or database and in turn render a static site based on that content. So if you see here, we're getting all of the posts for the home page, and then we return that as a prop and we forward that to the component. So inside of our index route component, we have all the posts, and then we are iterating over those and showing those on the home page. So we're taking the first one, right? And then we have this hero post. And then if there's more, we show the rest of the stories. So pretty, pretty sleek, pretty easy to use. It's a really well-defined API. Uh, let's jump inside our library code for get all post for home and see what it looks like to actually connect with the Cosmic JS client. So given some parameters, we're fetching a type of post, we forward in some props, the different meta fields that we want to pull back, and then whether we're using Next.js preview mode, which I'll talk about in a second, we want to go to that bucket and get all of the objects with these parameters and simply return those objects back to the client inside of your get static props function. So you see bucket, if we scroll up, we initialized cosmic and we initialized this bucket given the environment variables that we set up either locally or deployed with Vercel. So this allows you to create that secure, secure connection with cosmic and then fetch some kind of data. Okay, so with the app running locally, let's click on a post, for example, preview mode for static generation, and that's gonna render this page. And let's go back to our Cosmic dashboard. We'll find preview mode for static generation, and let's edit this post and edit the title. We'll hit publish, saving off a new version of this post. And if we refresh our page, we should see the exclamation mark added to the title. So if we go back to our post, what I want to do is create a new post and show off some of the preview mode functionality. So Next.js has a tight integration with CMSs that allow you to create content and put it in a draft state and then allow you to view that and share that with stakeholders and pass around that deployed preview that you'll get on a, um, on a PR when you upload with Vercel and see that without it being live in your production database. So if we are to make a new post, we're just gonna call it test. We'll just throw test inside of everything and we'll choose an existing image and an existing author and let's save that as a draft post. Now, the example that we get and that we clone from Vercel comes with an API route for preview mode that allows you to enter this and view content that's in a draft state. So if we go back to localhost 3000, we're gonna say API preview the secret, which we just defined as preview, 
and then whatever the slug is of that object. So I believe ours was test. So what this is gonna do is go to post slash test and you see we have this nice banner at the top telling us that this is a preview or viewing draft content. We can send this over to our content team, have them review any changes, make sure that everything looks good. And if we're okay with it, then we can merge that PR or publish that post and see things go live in our application. So let's exit this, which will take us back to our home page. Now let's go into our blog post file. So if we go to pages, and Next.js has file system based routing. So pages slash post would be the equivalent of whatever your URL is slash post slash whatever slug you want. And we're using dynamic routing here to inject whatever the slug is as a parameter to the React component. So if we scroll down, we see that we have get static props which we already talked about on the index route, which allows us to fetch information for a given blog post. And then we also have get static pass. Now, since we have a dynamic route of slug, as you see over here on the left, this allows us to fetch all blog posts with this slug and then map those and iterate over every single post that you have so that you generate a route in your application for each blog post. So you could use this to statically generate every single potential post in your application at build time. And when we have fallback true, we are saying that if there is not a post already generated, that's okay. We're going to still go into our React component. And if that post doesn't exist, throw a 404, otherwise, put this component into a loading state when we're in that fallback state. So this allows us to have control over how much we want to pre-build at build time versus handle on the fly at runtime. And that's a really, really nice dynamic approach that Next.js has taken with these APIs. Okay, so if we go back to our draft post that we had been working with, we should be able to also see this in our deployed environment. So if we open up a new tab, we have the application that we deployed to Vercel in the first video. We should be able to take this API route, put in our secret of preview and the slug of test, and we should be able to view this exact same draft post that we had locally. So now what we want to do is take this, we're going to exit preview mode, and we're going to publish this post. Now, if you remember, I talked about how at build time, we only built the pages that were available. So right now our deployed application does not know about this brand new test post that we are creating. So if I go to the deployed application, and I go to this route, we're going to see it render into that fallback state where it's going to reach out to the server, fetch information about that post, and then statically generate this page on the fly. And it's worth noting that these two functions that are on the server are in the node context and they only ever run on the server. So they're never included in your client side bundle. So now you see that loading state, it fetches the information from Cosmic and then it renders a static version of this page and boom, it's updated. We didn't have to do anything and it just works. So very, very incredible, really simplifies that process. The final piece that I want to show before we conclude this video is what the deploy preview process looks like with Vercel on GitHub. So I'm gonna make just an arbitrary change inside of this index route and just hard code this to say cosmic. And what I'm gonna do is create a new branch. We'll call this deploy preview. Looks like my editor got a little happy there. And what I wanna do is then add a new commit that says try out deploy previews. And this has some yarn lock changes. 
the index changes with a whole bunch of formatting changes because of prettier and we'll just say apply all we will commit this we'll push it to github and let's go back over to the repository that was initially created when we connected our account with for sell so if i create a pull request for this it's got a ton of additions because of the yarn lock changes but what we're going to see is this really nice integration with for sell where it leaves a comment on the PR, it shows you that it's in progress, and when this finishes building a unique immutable deployment for the branch that you have, it will leave a comment back on the PR with a link out so you can view that code live. So if you make any major site changes or even small site changes, you can share these URLs with stakeholders and easily collaborate and one of my favorite parts is that it even knows specifically which routes changed. So I can go here and we're gonna see this unique URL for this specific branch. And it even pulled in the most recent content now from the latest blog post that we published. All right, so that wraps up the second part of our tutorial for building a blog with Cosmic CMS and Next.js. We set up our account with Cosmic we deployed a blog to Vercel, and we talked about the entire workflow of running the application locally, updating and managing your content inside of Cosmic, and finally, seeing that live in production, and even the workflow with Vercel on PRs, and the unique deploy preview, and going into preview mode, all sorts of great stuff. It really simplifies this workflow for managing content between multiple stakeholders. Thank you for tuning in, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you.